just want to show you guys how to do a character sheet. So um, usually for character sheets, I would say you, for the orthographic views, meaning the front, back, left, right, and you may do a top bottom. I'm not going to ask you guys to do a top bottom view, but you just want to simply uh, turn off the perspective button, uh, rotate, and then hold shift so it snaps to a front view, and then you may hold alt and uh, left click and drag to zoom just so you get a, a full enough frame there. You can go to document and it's called Z app link. So what you want to do is basically go say front. It'll automatically grab a back view snapshot and it sort of stores it and loads it. And you just simply sh uh, rotate and hold shift until you snap to a left or right view. In this case, I'm facing the character's right side. So I'll go to document, oops, sorry, document, right. And it, again, it auto snaps the left. And then you can kind of rotate, turn on perspective. So you may want to get them in a, in a more interesting kind of position or uh, uh, view, again, with perspective on. And then you can do custom one. Once that's done, you simply hit make character sheet. It grabs all the snapshots. Um, it should auto launch Photoshop. So it actually auto saves, temporarily saves a PSD, but you should. I'm going to ask you guys to custom rearrange uh, the snapshots so it's a little more square. It just makes for a better presentation rather than having this super long strip. So I'll go um, Alt Control C, which is the, or you can go Edit, um, sorry, Image uh, Canvas Size. Alt Control C is the shortcut. So I'll just go to Percentage and double the height to 100%. For the background, usually what I, I do is I'll hit G to switch to my, my paint bucket, or you may have to hit Shift D to make sure you're in the paint bucket, or left click and hold, and you can switch between gradient paint bucket. Hold Alt, just uh, eyedropper that, and then you can, or uh, you know you can fill the background, or hit Shift F5, which is another shortcut, and say fill with, you know foreground color, or you can say um, I think there's a 50% gray option. Sorry, foreground color or 50% gray. I'll just do 50% gray. So next, I'll hit V, which is the arrow key. Slide this thing up. And then I'm going to uh, hit M for the marquee tool. And then back to V. And uh, we'll position these guys like so. Control D to deselect. M for the marquee again. And then I can hit Control T uh, to translate this guy up a bit. So usually I like to see the kind of three quarter view in a little more uh, sort of detail. Hit C to crop. And there you go. You should put your name, by the way, on these things as well. So when you post them uh, online, that you know, people know that it's your work. In this case, this is not my model, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But there you go. So that's basically uh, a fairly nice, simple, straightforward character sheet. Something you do in production, you know, daily and probably on a, on a weekly basis for sure. You guys ever see behind the scenes, right? Iron Man animated films. They always have turntables. They always have character sheets, right? So then you just save this out. Alt Control S, save your character strip, and away you go. Okay?